Hello, this is LJ Boffo, and we're going to take a look at some really basic text entry information in Microsoft Excel. Even though this will be in Excel for Windows, it's comparable information for Macs and other uh, operating system machines. So I've already got a file created, um, which is actually uh, something that you may have seen appear in the uh, Business Technology Essentials book, but I got some of it done and I just wanted to open up and show a few more things to help folks who are getting used to Excel um, and, and how to use it um, have, have a starting place. So this is basically a single sheet workbook. This is a worksheet inside of a workbook of only one worksheet. And in here, there's already uh, four columns of information, three more potential columns of information, and there are seven rows that have content in them. So um, you notice here that one of the rows is a little too thin here for its header, and another row is, excuse me, column. One of the columns is a little too narrow, and another one is awfully wide, so we'll look at expanding those two. But we're just going to do a couple simple things in here. With Excel, your typing happens in individual cells. And um, so here, if I was going to be adding another person's name, let me think of uh, something here. Oh, we'll just do my cat <laughs> and his favorite beverage. Okay, my cat is Fenris. And so as I basically select on a cell, I can start typing in it, or I could double click in the cell and type in it. Or I could select the cell and type in the formula box. So over here, I had selected the cell and started typing. In here, I'm going to double select, um, click the cell, type my last name because it's his too. Then I'm going to come back over here, and he's got zero drink budget. And then here, I'll just start typing. And he likes water. So that's just the simplicity of adding information. But one of the neat things about Excel is there's something called kind of an autofill or flash fill. They both kind of tend to mean the same thing now. And the idea is that you can begin typing a series of, of stuff. And then instead of typing it all, you can um, type part of it and then drag down and have the rest of it fill in for you. What does that actually mean? Well, for a month, I mean, basically of January. I'm going to hit enter and that will take me down to the next um, cell. Whereas if I was in January and I hit tab, it would go over to the side and then enter goes down. So February, March. Well, there's 12 months and I'm really don't feel like typing them all. So I'm selecting all three by clicking on one cell and holding my left, left uh, mouse uh, key down, dragging until I select all three. Then it, 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 hopefully you could see this here. In this corner, there's this little tiny, little tiny, well, basically all you have to do is hover. And when you see your normal cursor information here turn to a black cross, you can find that I'm just having all sorts of, here we go. You basically can hold your cursor key down and drag and, and do this. And then it will fill in what it can based on the series. I didn't drag down quite far enough to get December, but I can do one more and there we are. You can do the same sort of thing with numbers. One, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter. You usually want to do at least three of them and then you would grab this and, and then you could like drag down as far as you want to go. Hundreds and see, it fills in for you. The difficulty is it's tempting to want to do this for things like, okay, one, two, three. These seem to be part of a series too, but Excel doesn't intuit this as being a part of a series the same way months are. If I go and do this, what it does is it starts repeating them. So you do have to be kind of careful when you're choosing to do that. Another quick thing I wanted to show is if a column is too narrow, you can actually click on the whole column by clicking on the column address, in this case C, and then move over to the left of it, excuse me, the right hand side of it. And when you see this double um, arrow icon here, you double click your, your mouse and it will automatically widen the column for you. You can also select a column and instead of double clicking, you could just press your mouse uh, left button down once and then drag and you can do that. So it's an easy, easy fix to get things to be 
Now, if for some reason you found that you had a row like this that was too much, you could do the same thing. You can also click a row and grab and drag, and bring it back up, double click, etc. So those are just a few basics of inputting data. Uh, we'll have other videos where we start playing with how data should look. Thanks very much.